I'm Usher and long time no see. Um, I am filming from good old Miami, Florida, down in South Beach. And so this video is going to be a vlog. And I haven't done a vlog, so I feel like Miami would be a good reason to film one before I didn't exactly have a reason to film one. So yeah, stay tuned. The first day I got here, um, I got off my aer uh, airplane, got a taxi here, and um, surprise, surprise, I get a flash flood warning. And um, I figured that coming from San Francisco, um, a flash flood is kind of like a puddle in the middle of the freeway. But no, all the streets were filled with water. So this is the place that I'm staying at. And I'm gonna see if I can get a video of a lizard. Because they're everywhere. I'm surprised there aren't any right now. Oh, there's one. Right there. You see that? going shopping for fruits because I haven't eaten anything today and it is I don't know o'clock so I'm gonna get some fruits and um, hopefully some water because it's freaking hot so yeah catch you later hi guys I'm going to kind of review all the things that I've bought here in Miami um, it's kind of things that I could buy anywhere, but um, if I just buy clothes at home, I just feel bad using my money. So um, I'm going to show you what I bought. So first thing is these amazing, just, I don't know what's better than these pants, but I know you guys all must have heard of these pants but these are the famous disco pants um, and um, they're purple and they're like the most amazing pants I have ever worn in my life. They hide absolutely everything. Um, I could wear maybe pumps with this. Um, I have a bunch of pumps or um, wedges that'll go perfect with this. Uh, which brings me to my next point. My shoes that I actually bought um, before I left for Miami, which is these super duper cute ombre um, cupid shoes. So I don't remember exactly what it was called, but um, yeah. So these, I bought them bef right before I left Miami because I thought that I'd wear them in Miami, which is true. I wore them in Miami and it, everyone was very, very, um, well, let's just say everyone was just super, super impressed and because, I mean, first of all, they're super high. They're like five inches um, and just the color beneath is just so beautiful. Okay. Next. Next shoes that I bought, it's actually for my sister's wedding, but I feel like I could wear it for anything, which are these um, Aldo nude pumps. They're maybe about like, I don't know, two and a half, three inches tall maybe. Um, yeah, and the perfect thing is they have these um, platform and they also stuck like this little uh, sandpaper thing on the bin on bottom, so it takes a lot longer for your shoes to wear. And the next shoes that I bought is from Steve Madden. I know, I could buy these anywhere, but it just gives me an excuse to go shopping. Okay, these are the most amazing pumps I've ever worn in my life. So these are Steve Madden, Steve Madden, and um, yeah, these are so high yet so, so comfortable. 
I can walk so easily in them. And they come in red, black, um, suede in any color, um, mint, I know mint is in right now. Um, so yeah, get yours today because they're, I guess I spent maybe like a hundred dollars here on these shoes. So um, yeah, if you have a hundred dollars to spare, you know what to get. I also got these um, Jeffrey Campbells. Um, I guess it was like a couple months ago. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because uh, these are freaking amazing. I wore these to um, uh, at the airport coming here and these did not hurt whatsoever. They're so beautiful. They're a bit heavy, but they're really, really easy to walk in. I've never once fallen in any Jeffrey Campbell shoes and these are definitely one, one of my number ones. I guess it doesn't really make sense. But it's one of my favorite shoes that I own and they go for about $220 but um it's worth it it's definitely worth it the shoes are like my life um, whenever I go on vacation I always buy shoes it's one of my bad habits but yeah Jeffrey Campbell it's um has silver buckles and um a zipper on the side to make it really easy to take off and put it back on so that's why I wore it for the airport instead of wearing ugly sandals or whatever um, I'm not really a fan of sandals I'm more of a fan of heels you never you may never know who you might run into at the airport so could be hotties or it could be creeps so get one today remember that I was talking about there was a flood and um, I, everything got wet, even my clothes. Um, not only do my clothes get wet, but my magazines—it's like I'm scared, melting. Please, I can't survive in the water. Hi guys, so I am in the airplane. I'm going to depart for San Francisco. Literally was waiting for about three hours, three or four hours, or something like that. Longest time I've ever had to wait in the airport. Um, so yeah, I'll reconvene back at home, and I hope you guys enjoyed my trip just as much as I did. So, bye. Hi guys. So this concludes my trip to Miami. And I'm so sorry that my videos couldn't be more interesting. Um, see, what happened was all my videos that I took on the whole trip um, got lost um, from the flood. And so I kind of had to improvise with my computer. And I hope this is enough. And um, I would like to tell you that I just came back from my hip hop gig. Um, at a art gallery or something and um that's why i'm wearing this fancy crochet dress um and um that's what you're listening to um on the background of my video and i hope you guys really like it and i will post um our link down below so thanks for watching